peer-to-peer -peer networking and you. Here's what to expect during this presentation. First, let's learn what peer-to-peer -peer networking is and how it works. Then, I will show you why this technology is an issue and why you should care. After that, I will present my public service announcement. Finally, I will evaluate why I designed my public service announcement the way I did. Essentially, peer-to-peer -peer networking is becoming an increasingly common technology that allows us to communicate data over the internet at a much faster rate than ever before. When you download a file from the internet, it is hosted on a server and your download speed is limited by a single connection between you and that server. This creates a bottleneck. With peer-to-peer -peer networking, there is no single host. Instead, all of the users on the network are interconnected. Files are broken up into small pieces. Users who have a piece share with those who don't, and vice versa. Peer-to-peer -peer technology, like any new invention, has consequences. These consequences affect those of the global community who use the internet. To begin with, it can be used to efficiently pirate movies, games, books, songs, literally anything that can be used on a computer. Copyright law in the United States is severely flawed because the modern technology has outpaced our judicial system. An unfortunate example of this is Jamie Thomas, who was initially accused of sharing 24 songs in the Casa Peer-to-Peer -peer Music Network in 2007. The latest downturn in her case was in order to pay $1.5 million. This is obviously unethical. Security risks are another major social problem with peer-to-peer -peer technology. Viruses, adware, spyware, and malware are all very common on peer-to-peer -peer networks because of how quickly files circulate between users. Luckily, these problems are easy to avoid once you know how to avoid them. Using peer-to-peer -peer software correctly is something that the majority of people who use the technology don't do. Peer-to-peer -peer technology requires a shared folder or folder that anyone on the same peer-to-peer -peer network can download from for it to work correctly. The solution to this is to simply not put personal files in the shared folder. However, identity theft is common to those who are careless. The third and most noteworthy social issue with peer-to-peer -peer technology is that it lacks awareness. Uneducated employees often use peer-to-peer -to -peer technology to take advantage of their workplace's internet connection and in doing so, many other problems can arise. In addition, internet service providers have begun to control how much bandwidth their customers can use depending on if peer-to-peer -peer internet traffic is detected. This is happening because ISPs don't want to be liable for copyright infringement that their customers may be committing. This is unfair because although I am highlighting the social issue with peer-to-peer -peer technology, it is used more often for legitimate purposes than illegal purposes. A lack of awareness is also to blame for the increasing amount of false accusations authorities are making on innocent people. Very soon, almost every online entity will be using peer-to-peer -peer networks to deliver their software or software updates. It only makes sense that the more we become reliant on this technology, the more vital it becomes to eliminate the issues that it brings with it. Before I show my PSA, I believe some background information is required. My public service announcement's goal is awareness. I believe that the more people are familiar with peer-to-peer -peer technology, the better off we will all be in the future. My primary target audience are college students who may or may not be familiar with this technology. I attempted to describe peer-to-peer -peer networking as simple as possible, but also try to keep it interesting for those of you who already know what I'm talking about. I created a video instead of a radio broadcast or poster because those other forms of delivery would not achieve the same pathos. This is an internet technology and it belongs on the internet for others to learn from. You will notice that I use transitions to achieve the best viewing experience. The text is laid out so one line will transition your eyes to the next. Simply reading the emphasized words should get the point across if you do not happen to catch every line. Correct video editing will make an author's ethos that much greater, 
and creates a logical appeal and that one idea will flow to the next. And that is what I try to achieve. And without further comment, here is my public service announcement for peer-to-peer -peer networking awareness. Enjoy. I hope everybody enjoyed my public service announcement. In evaluation, I believe that this PSA would be effective if introduced to the public because of two primary reasons. First, I tried to engage my audience into the topic by directly stating that they should share what they learned with the people that they know. Second, I introduced the idea that copyright law should be changed. This may sound rather controversial and it should make my audience look into the reasons why I suggest such an idea. My PSA could be improved upon if it could be slightly longer. It would allow my audience to have more time to read each sentence and I could make better transitions. I do not believe adding more visual aid would be of much use, for it would distract from what is most important, the text. In conclusion, I thank everybody for watching my presentation on such a technical topic. Hopefully, peer-to-peer -peer networking will become a safer, well-known, and more secure technology for all. All questions and comments are greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.